Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting. It is in collaboration with Vanity Australia and I cannot wait to show you their new foundation. So Vanity have just launched their Skin Perfector HD Serum Foundation. So I'm going to apply this today and walk you through it. I will also let you guys know that Vanity have launched bundles now. So if you jump on their website, you'll be able to get the Skin Perfector Foundation with their Beauty Sponge. That will save you 15% and you will also get a free Lux Elixir, which is a 5ml bottle. And just because I know I'm going to get a lot of questions on this, I will leave all of the shade names down in the description below just because I think it might be a little bit helpful for you if you think that you are the same complexion to me or maybe you're a little bit lighter or darker. I do normally rotate two different foundations so I actually have a lot of foundations in two different shades. I'll have my lighter shade for when I'm not fake tanned and a darker shade for when I am fake tanned. So I'll leave both of those below for you just in case you find it helpful. I am so excited to jump in and show you guys this new foundation because I am obsessed with their mineral liquid foundation. Oh my god, it is like after I tried it for the first time, it became one of my absolute favorite foundations. I have it in a lighter shade. I actually have it here. Um, I have it in a lighter shade. Very well loved. Look, I, I, I could not, I got every little bit out of that and it, you know, there's still some in there, so I'm going to keep going with it. But I also have a darker one as well. So I have a lighter one for when I'm not tanned and a dark one for when I am. So as I mentioned, the Skin Perfector bundle does come with a 5ml bottle of the Lux Elixir. So I'm going to start off by priming my face with this. So I'm just going to grab the Elixir and you only need like one or two drops. A little bit really goes a very long way. I am loving products like this at the moment for my skin. We are in autumn here in Australia. It's starting to get cold and naturally people are cranking the heaters. And I find that heaters really dry out my skin. The cooler weather also dries out my skin. So at the moment, my skin's quite dull. So the Lux Elixir is exactly what my skin needs. It's full of vitamins. It's amazing. And it feels so good on the skin. It's like the perfect primer. It just helps my skin look a little more glowy and radiant, a little more plump and supple. Um, my skin, when it's dry, looks dull. So... This elixir just kind of helps it look more plump and more awake, I guess. It's also not an oily oil, if that makes sense. Like the residue left over on your skin, it doesn't feel greasy. It just feels hydrated and soft. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the Skin Perfector foundation. I have two shades here. I have the shade 21 and the shade 25. As you guys can see, I have a dark one for when I'm tanned and a lighter one for when I am not tanned. I feel like I'm going to be a little mix of the two. That is one tip that I will give you guys. If you are unsure of your foundation shade and you can afford to get two, or you're someone like me who does fake tan and sometimes isn't tanned, so you kind of need a little bit of both, get one that is on the darker spectrum and one that is on the lighter spectrum. And if they're the same foundation, you can mix them and make your perfect shade. Now, I know not everyone's going to be buying two foundations at the same time, but it has saved me a lot in the past, especially when sometimes I'm really dark when I'm tanned and other times I'm very, very pale. Sometimes I'm in between. You just never know. So if you are someone whose skin tone can fluctuate, sometimes getting a little mix of the two together is perfect. Now, just to give you guys an idea of shade, I'm gonna show you both of them on my skin here, just so you can see the difference. So this is shade 25, it's a little bit darker than I am now so maybe we are going to have to do a little mix of the two. And then this is shade 21. So there you go. I kind of feel like I'm going to be a little mix of the two so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Again, perfect if you're not sure of your shade. I feel like this is just a little too light and this is just a tiny bit too dark. Easy fix, we're just gonna do a little mix and we'll have the perfect color. Going back on what I said before about buying two of the same foundation in a darker and a lighter shade, I understand not everyone can afford that, don't get me wrong, but another great benefit of that is if you don't want a really heavy makeup look, if you just wanna look really natural, flawless, but without being too heavy, 
Sometimes what I will do is I'll go in with a mix of the two, so it's my perfect foundation shade, and then instead of going in with concealers, contouring colours, bronzer, all that, I'll just use a little bit of the darker one just to lightly bronze up where I would normally do bronzer and contour, and then I'll use the lighter one under my eyes just to brighten that area. And then you're not going in with thicker, more heavy product, but you're still getting that contoured look. Okay, so to apply the foundation, I'm going to go in with their beauty sponge. I absolutely love this sponge, you guys. It is so good. It's one of my absolute favorites. So I'm going to do one side of my face just to show you how much coverage you can get. But I will also let you know that this product is so lightweight. Like already, I have barely used any. I've just kind of blended out those two swipes that I did on my cheek. And then whatever was left over from my mixing tool. It's a little bit goes such a long way. Like you really don't need a lot. The fragrance on this as well is very, very subtle. So if you are someone who doesn't like really strong smells in your makeup products. I know some people can get a headache from it or some people are allergic to fragrances. This is very, very subtle. So there you guys can see with just the tiniest bit how much it has covered up any like uneven skin tone imperfections in my skin. It's just like flawless. On the other side, I will show you how much I'm using just so you can see how little I'm using. So this is my little spatula that I use to mix it. And that's how much I'm taking on it. It's this tiny amount here. Just gonna show you how little amount of product that is and how far that can go. See, already that has just really evened up my skin tone um, it hasn't quite allowed me to do my entire side of my face, but just that tiny little bit has gone such a long way. Now I'm just going in with a tiny little bit extra underneath my under eye, just to show you if you're someone who doesn't like to use concealer underneath your eyes, if you want something a little more lightweight, a little more natural looking. I've just taken a little bit on the tip of the beauty sponge and I'm just very lightly patting a tiny little bit underneath my eye just to brighten it and show you guys how much coverage you can get with it. So this eye you can still see a little bit of my purpleness showing through. This eye is so much brighter. Can you see the difference? I don't know about you guys but I can totally see the difference where this has kind of got that little I don't want to call it a bag but you can definitely see there's a difference between that eye and this eye so now I'm just gonna go and cover this one up so I don't look crazy so that is a full face done I did about half a pump of each to mix the colors to get my skin tone which I think is matched pretty well um, and then I did have a little bit of product left over which you saw me do underneath my eyes just to kind of show you the coverage of the foundation now it is definitely a matte finish, but when I touch my face, normally with a matte foundation, it will feel very dry and very powdery. This doesn't have that feel. My skin feel, still feels like supple and hydrated. It's not coming off on my fingers at all. It really has some strong staying power to it. And that is probably due to the ingredients that are in it, which I will take you through quickly now. One of my favorite ingredients that is in here is hyaluronic acid, which is great for hydrating your skin, keeping it to look very plump. I think that's why this doesn't go completely matte on you. You still get that very youthful, glowy look while still being matte and controlling those oils. But that hyaluronic acid is still keeping that plump look because the skin is hydrated. As always, Vanity is keeping it cruelty-free and vegan as well, so that's a big plus. There is also titanium dioxide in there, which kind of helps to protect your skin against UV throughout the day and it's great for sensitive skin as well. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and do the rest of my makeup as I normally would because I also like to show you guys how foundations hold up with other products on top of them. I know that that's exactly what you're gonna do when you take the product home with you is you're going to do your normal routine with the foundation. You're gonna pop on your bronzer, 
maybe some concealer, eyeshadow, all that fun stuff. And you're probably going to want to see how it plays up with this foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'm going to check in with you in a second. Okay, so I have finished my full face of makeup and just in case you guys are wondering, I use the nude eyeshadow palette from Vanity. This is what it looks like. Oh, I love it. It's so pretty. Um, and then I just bronzed up my cheeks a little bit with their Dream Matte Bronzer. This is what it looks like. Perfect cool shade for contouring. And then to finish everything off, I just went in with a little spritz of their Ready Set Glow Setting Spray. Now, as I was applying my makeup, I have to say everything went on so beautifully, so effortlessly. A lot of the time when I'm trying new foundations, I'm really looking out for how bronzer applies on top of it or any powders on the skin, because sometimes you'll find that, especially when you're doing your bronzer or your highlighter, it sometimes will wipe off or it will go patchy or the two won't mesh well together. But I can honestly say this went on so beautifully. Very, very happy with how it turned out. This foundation is also so lightweight. Um, I know I showed you guys in the beginning how little you really need, but honestly, the coverage is perfection. Like my skin tone is completely evened out. Every little imperfection that I had is covered. I didn't need to go in with concealer at all. So, you know, like it's just, it's just covered everything with such a lightweight formula. Even around my nose, this is an area which sometimes as I'm doing other powders and stuff, foundation will just come off. Even my favorite foundations, it will just come off. It has held up so well on my nose. I'm very, very impressed. So there you go, you guys. That is Vanity Australia's new Skin Perfector HD Serum Foundation. So this foundation is $52.95. Honestly, if you're going to grab this, I highly recommend picking up the bundle. It is $55.15. Then you are going to get the elixir as well. And it seems little, but honestly, a little bit goes a long way. You only need a drop or two. And you'll also get their beauty sponge, which is honestly amazing. Like this sponge is so, so good. So there you go, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to pop all of Vanity Australia's details in the description below so you can check out this product for yourself. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in my next video, if not sooner. Three, two, one, go!